everyone, hey YouTube, welcome to this video. I think never before in recent times have we seen a political person in the Western world create such division, anger, surprise at the way he handles or uh, tackles subject matters or issues. Of course we are speaking about Donald Trump, the current president of America. So I thought let's take a look at what's in store for him in July. I mean everyone out there around the world is already second guessing or contemplating what moves he's going to make or what actions he's going to head in or what's going to happen to him. So we may as well utilise the cards to have a look as well. What I'm going to do is take a few from the top of the deck and turn them reverse so we will shuffle them through the deck as well and include some reversals in the reading. He may or may not get any of them pop up but we shall see what happens. So this is for Donald Trump for July and we'll just see what is around him and what is going on. Okay. The Hermit, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Moon Reversed, the Fool Reversed, the Knight of Cups Reversed, that's um, two Knights in a row, the Ten of Cups Reversed and the King of Swords. So probably as expected he has a lot of people in his reading, a lot of court cards, one, two, three, four. We also have the Fool. So he has three major arcanas as well. We have the Moon, the Fool and up here the Hermit. So if we start off with the first card being the beginning of July with the Hermit card, it feels as if he goes into a reclusive period or he is spending some time alone. Perhaps this is one of his um, golfing trips or a holiday. Who would know? He seems to enjoy taking time away from the public eye and uh, following his hobbies in life, one of which we know to be golf. So often when the hermit is around, it's about thinking of life, pondering it, but especially on your own and ascertaining new directions that you are wanting to take or new paradigms, you spend some time thinking about that. Now paradoxically underneath here is the Fool reversed and again the Fool card often talks to us about new beginnings or new directions or seeking new awareness. Both of those cards speak to us actually about spiritual awareness or attainment of understanding the higher evolution of life. But the fall is reversed, so it tells us there is a problem going on here with conceptual ideas or new beginnings that he's trying to put forward. So it feels as though they are either blocked or he himself is blocked or he's just not sure what direction he wants to go in. We see the next card, which was the Knight of Swords. This is often uh, a card of dramatic, quick, fiery energy. So this can pertain to arguments or quick ideas of agitation appearing. So there could be events around him that are fiery. They could be very much about verbal accusations or communication where there's tempestuousness involved, where there's arguing to and fro. And we know he does this very much on his Twitter account. He's always on that um, mindless, really, social media thing, twittering away about how amazing he is or how many followers he has or how he's going to uh, finish off Comey or how Clinton needs to be uh, put behind bars. So he does a lot of that anyhow and I think this could be fueling negative situations around him. If he learnt to temper back his usage of the public media forum he might 
find himself in a more stable situation a lot of the times. It's interesting that we have, if we think about it too, we have one, two, three, four reversed cards in here. So four upright and four reversed. And in real terms, I didn't reverse many cards at all. So he certainly has a lot of reversed ones that have come into his reading. Reversed cards generally just show us that there are blockages or there are glitches around situations happening. So I think for him July could be a month where things are not going as smoothly as he would anticipate and that there are other people creating tempestuous energy around him. So arguments, there's disagreements, there's conflagration, there's um, quick uh, flare-ups of sorts. If we come underneath here to this Knight of Cups, he's reversed. <laughs> so he's often known to us as the offering of love or peace or happiness. And again, this can be quite sudden or quite quick or new energy coming in. But because it's reversed, it feels almost as if this is being taken away or that there is a stoppage of the offering of love and peace and harmony around him or the things that he perhaps is trying to get past in government. Yeah, I, th I think there are people around him who are withdrawing uh, to a certain degree. They're withdrawing some of what they're wanting or where they have been positioned. So he's, he's out there thinking, oh, I might try this or I might go in this direction, but he's not getting all the backing that he should be. We see here the Queen of Cups. Now, she is looking kind of directly into situations around him, so it could be Melania, but this could be someone more at a political level who is perhaps backing him and who supports him. Ah, it could be his daughter. So she could be there offering him support and nurture. And this is often felt at quite a deep love level. So I think that this is someone who is quite close to him and who is probably in his political party. It may not be the daughter. He may have some other females around him that do uh, back him or stand up for him or back some of his policies one way or another. But there is a strong possibility that this could be uh, the daughter of his. We come to this card here and we see the moon reversed. So this could tie into planetary issues. It could tie into the eclipses that are coming in August for Trump. There could be some major thing that happens to him around about the time through July and August. It could be, if you like, almost written in the stars, like it's pre designed that's going to happen. But to see the moon upside down makes me think of adverse, adverse reactions or adverse effects to do with people and timing and strategies. The moon is often known as a card to be cautious and beware, especially when we're dealing with signing documents and bringing new deals into the situation. So I think this could even pertain to more caution and that there may be things that are undercover that are going to be brought to the surface. So it's a card of hidden guys that often people might be trying to hide something but it's brought out one way or another. It's brought to the surface. So there's a possibility that there has been something that's been hidden or going on. It may not be Trump himself. It could be something that he brings to the surface that is quite unexpected or remarkable in many ways. And it could have something to do with this type of person, this King of Swords, who's an air sign person who is himself. He is a Gemini. So yeah, there's a possibility there this is about him um, being the air sign energy that he is, that something is brought to light. It's kind of like dug up from the hidden depths of somewhere and it's something that he would perhaps rather not have uh, brought into the public's eye, but it possibly will turn up. 
We've jumped one here with the Queen of Cups. She actually was paired up with another Cups energy here and it was the Ten of Cups and that that's the Ten of Cups reversed. So again, if this card was upright, the Ten of Cups is a very benevolent, well-loved card to turn up. It shows us two people hand in hand with a very uh, strong companionship and respect and love for one another. And they have been blessed if you like, blessed with life's luxuries and happiness and family benevolence, monetary benevolence, everything that you could wish when you come together in union, in a sacred union. But this card is turned upside down so it's telling us that there are glitches around this dynamic perspective of his life. So it feels less of a happiness around him in July. There feel to be juxtapositions coming and going with him personally at the personal emotional level. There's a feeling of him perhaps wanting to escape and then not knowing how to escape or not knowing which direction to go. There seem to be some issues around relationships in here and even though initially I said this was someone who was quite close to him and giving him support it could also be that this person, or we could look at it from another perspective and say that this woman here is associated with this and feels frustrated and annoyed at the situations that are going on and feels as though things are breaking apart a bit. Now whether or not that's an example of Melania or other woman again close to him in his life, possibly family members or possibly political members. So... He has a lot going on in July. We, we understand he's the President of America. He's going to have many, many people in his life constantly around him. But there's definitely issues that need fixing. Things are not running as smoothly as they could. He needs to temper things. He needs to balance them. He needs to spend time not just on himself and where he wants to go, but broaden his horizons. So let's just do two last cards here and see what the overall outcome is. Ooh. Another two reversed cards. And that's the tower. Oh, and that's the victory card. And they're both reversed. Yeah, so, okay, the reversed tower has a tendency to have a feeling that... Um, there could have been forewarning of a situation coming. So having some sort of preparedness and able to deal with information coming, and it could be this reverse moon as such. So I think we see that certain things are falling to bits and need to be reorganised, restructured and reshuffled possibly, and this is what the falling of the tower may be. This could be something that he was trying to put into place, whether it's um, people in his political party that work with him, or whether it's something he's been pushing through that in effect is not going to work the way he wants it to, or it is falling uh, um, by the wayside, or it needs remedial work to bring it back into line again. But given that the next card is the victory card upside down, it also gives us the feeling that victory is not going to be there for him in the month of July around certain events that he wants it to be there. So it will be an arduous month for him, I think, with lots of, um, yeah, kind of issues going the way he doesn't want them to go. And this could be from any of the political realms. So... You know, he's got so many projects on the go about wanting to make changes. It's hard to say which one this is necessarily going to be. But it feels as though it's a fairly big change that he's trying to implement, that there are hold-ups or it's not going right or it falls through or there are people in the chain, the network, that are allowing it to fall through or promoting it to not work as well. So I think for him... He, even though it's a wonderful time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, it should be summer and, you know, great times. He does definitely take some time out, and I think he does go away. He may not be in the public face as much as you would expect, but there is stuff going on behind the scenes that will make dramatic changes as the month go forward, and perhaps changes within his political party or people around him. 
So yeah, there we are. There's July moving into August for Trump for 2017.